All right, here we go. Back with a new one. Uh, thanks for the new subscribers. And if you're new here, go ahead and um, you know, uh, go ahead and subscribe and um, and um, hit the like button for post notifications. And uh, also, yeah, I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't tell you to buy, hold, or sell any crypto asset. Uh, yeah, and um, but yes, my first video for today. Got a lot of rest. I'm trying to recover from this little cold, so I'm a little bit <coughs> under the weather. But anyways, let's get right to it. This is going to be a quick video, quick update video. Yeah, so um, the guy, you know, Sam Bankman freed or, or scam, banker of fraud, whatever. He, um, they interviewed him, I think yesterday, they, he had an interview and um, they were asking him key questions and everything. But, you know, just like they all do, he, you know, he, um, he pedaled behind or, um, you know, he was, you know, skipping around questions or trying to answer the answer the questions indirectly whatever but he, to make a long story short he don't want to take any responsibility for what he did with um ftx or whatever try to you know you know try to you know go around the you know the direct questions about you know the deposits you know uh you know to make a long story short the, the customer funds how they funneled out customer funds and gambled pretty much gambled their money off illegally to do you know risky bets risky trades in the market to to Alameda, whatever. But anyways, that's what that is. But it looked like from the way things look, he's not he's not going to have to face justice. He pretty much looked like he's going to get off. But you know, I, I, I watched the interview yesterday. He claimed that he only had like a hundred thousand dollars now, whatever. But I think he's lying. I think he has more money than that during the crash, whatever. During the collapse, most likely he funneled he funneled a lot of that money away. He most likely he got some secret wallet somewhere where he's holding. You know, most likely he's holding like a few million somewhere. So I'm not gonna believe that he only have a hundred thousand dollars, like he claimed he did. Like he lost it all. He got he got some millions stashed away somewhere, most likely a secret wallet. But anyways, this guy he's a crook, you know. But unfortunately, look like he he's never gonna have to face jail time, you know. Even though he should. But anyways, let's get into it. The um, the market is um, the overall crypto market is flat. Some cryptos are going up, and it, <coughs> excuse me, even though this is still a crypto bear market. There are still some opportunities to make money because some coins um, are pumping. Some coins do periodically pump, you know, like, you know, from 30 to 50 percent. And if you uh, if you're really watching a coin closely, you know, you wait for it to pull back. And then the coin that you're the position you're currently in, you can actually convert it over to that other token and wait for it to pump. Then after it pumps, you know, for profit and then convert it back into your original position. Like I'm, I'm holding Jasmine and I've really been looking at DeFi, your protocol it's, it's, you know, it's been doing little pumps that it, like it'll pull back to 23, 22, then it'll, it'll pump back to like pump up to 26 to 28 cents. And I, and I see opportunity right there to make money, you know, where I can convert my Jasmine coin over to that coin and just wait for it, you know, for a swing trade, wait for it to pump. Then after it pumps, I can, you know, convert it back over to Jasmine. And then at that point, I'll, I'll have more Jasmine tokens. You know, that's a good way to make, you know, make some money in the crypto market, even though there's, it's really still a bear market. You know, we're still in a crypto winter. But, you know, it's December, you know, December 31st, the end of this year. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, going into next year, you know, we're going to see what the prices are going to be. I'm hoping the prices are going to be um, a lot higher. A lo hey. All right, how you doing? I'm hoping they're gonna be um a lot a lot higher than what they than uh, 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 what they are, you know, right now. Um, but yeah, um, but you know we'll see, you know, what happened after um, you know about you know by the end of the year. Um, uh, but anyways, um, you know. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, so still, you know, it's officially, you know, you know, say Saturday's crypto weekend. So, you know, I'm, I'm paying close attention to the market. You know, things is always changing every hour. There's something new news going on with crypto. You know, like I said, by the hour, you know, there's always new news. You know, this is a volatile market. But anyways, hey, I will see you guys in the next video. I uh, hope you guys are having a good Saturday and uh, take it easy. Bye bye.